let's get into how to train for your playing position. Starting with the inside mids, typically the balls. You're going to need size. You're going to need strength for your contest game. So that's really, really important. So build that body armor through functional strength training. So typically we'll be doing a lower body strength session on a Monday in season. What does that look like? Heavy squats, box squats, or a heavy trap bar deadlift. You might do five sets and you work up to a heavy four reps for that day. If you're feeling well recovered from the game, that might mean you work up to you know, 140 kilos. If you're feeling a bit fatigued and banged up, you might only work up to 130 kilos. So listen to your body, let it auto-regulate, but work up to a heavy lift for that day. So it should be close to a, a, a max effort for those reps. And you want to step load, so start um, light, work on speed and power and good technique, and then finish heavy. In terms of work rate for inside mids, we want to be um, getting around 120 to 130 metres per minute. And for your high speed running, anywhere between 10 to 14 metres of high speed running, which is running at above 25.5, um, uh, sorry, 19.8 Ks per hour. For our outside midfielders, speed forwards and speed defenders, for you guys, we want uh, uh, a big exposure of high speed running. AFL standard will be around 17 to 20 metres of high speed running. So doing um, 100 meter, 150 metre reps over pre-season, really important, working on that speed endurance side of things, but also having a good tank for your ability to recover from those high intensity efforts. So <clears throat> to allow you to have that two-way running, um, which is so important in the game at the moment where you can put speed on the ball, uh, whether you're being a speed defender and you're working it down to the forward line, but equally if there's a quick turnover, you're able to get back and, and help out um, the defenders on the, when the other team's got the ball, um, be able to run hard and be an extra outlet kick to be able to create space. So lots of hard efforts, putting pressure as well, which requires speed in your legs uh, and, and good ability to accelerate. So high speed running is really important. Moving over to the big fellas, so the key position players, key big forwards, key big backs, uh, and your ruckman for you guys, body mass actually is a factor. So you need to have enough weight on you for that contested aerial game. Um, but also to be able to handle the collisions, particularly Ruckman. So having enough body armor on you, that's where it helps to get a bit of extra volume in the gym across the week. Make sure you're getting in plenty of calories with your nutrition uh, and that you're um, uh, putting in great intensity in the gym so your intent is uh, high when you're doing those strength sessions on Monday, Tuesday, and when you're doing explosive lifts uh, on the Wednesday, you may find that your priming sessions actually help to do some band resisted training as well. So accommodating resistance to help prime your nervous system and get used to that body on body collision based training.